all right cool so we have begun so now okay welcome to vix flies let's see how this goes first video never used this camera before we're gonna tie a leech pattern got my purple thread here we've got a little bit of A little bit of synthetic rabbit's hair fur. What we're gonna do, real simple. I'm not gonna talk too much. We're gonna lay a base layer on it. We got this gold hook. We want to get rid of this gold color. We got a nice little weighted tungsten bead right here, and that crazy orange color to give some vibrance. We're gonna just wrap. This is kind of a fly tying tutorial for people that really don't fly uh, tie a lot of flies or they're new to it. I'm pretty new to it. So that's kind of what this channel, Vix Flies, is going to be about. I'm going to make these wraps and we're just going to establish this base layer. Get rid of a bunch of this friggin' gold. And we'll come back nice. Snip this off. Cool. Let me check how we're going. Alright, let's see. now a little bit of that action cool cool looking good on the camera so far we don't gotta worry about too many of those wraps we got our bead in now what I want to do I want to introduce something a little bit different so what we're gonna grab is we're gonna grab a pinch a little pinch couple fibers of this nice purple purple flash as you guys can see since I have that purple base layer down I'm going to throw this purple flash and I'm going to do loose wraps I'm trying to make it funky I'm trying to make it buggy I'm trying to collect those wraps because remember now when that black goes on top it's going to pop now what you guys should have especially if you're a beginner I didn't know this is an old crappy toothbrush you want an old crappy toothbrush so you can brush it you just brush it and you kind of wake it up a little bit cool now you brushed it now remember we want this flies upside down you're tying it upside down because we want this hook right here to be floating on top of the water so it doesn't grab everything in its mama so what I like right now, I like how that looks. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more purple just to give it some pop. See, some more purple about that much. We're gonna pull it close. We're gonna pull it close, get it neat, but not too neat. This fly tying is not neat. Wrap that boy in, wrap him up, boom. And then fluff him. Now we got a much more pronounced, because we will, we will lose some of that pronouncedness later on when we start to uh, add more layers and more wraps we'll lose that lower that a little bit for you guys so you could hear me I don't even know how the audio on the camera is anyway now we have our our buddy right here but before we put our buddy in we want to do something a little special you see how this black is obviously one color it's a beautiful one color we have this purple and black we want to go with that purple and black theme whether it's clear water or muddy water, right now we want this leech kind of pattern to pop out. We don't really care what the fish thinks what it is. We don't care what we think it looks like. The main thing is, is what we want to do is entice that fish to bite it. We don't care if the fish thinks it's a leech or whatever like that. We're going to take a little bit of a UV pinch, very little bit. We're going to dress that up all crazy. A couple loose wraps, we want to incorporate it a little bit into my buddy right here see that that just gave it that extra vibrant this is that what we just used was uv so it's going to look different to the fish now i'm going to grab a decent pinch of just black this is not hair this is some of that flash black i'm going to double pinch it and i'm going to fluff it up and i'm going to kind of just add it in all crazy I'm gonna do this little quick like X pattern. I wanna, I kinda wanna fluff this up. 
So that right there almost could be a fly right now in itself with that black, okay? But what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit it up with our leech, so. Now, remember this fly is upside down. So we would prefer the darker on the top. So if I put this like this, this would be wrong. It would look good to me but not to the fish. So we're gonna flip our hook over now to the scary part where it's up top. Pinch our vise, regain our little rabbit's hair now. We're gonna have it actually fly the way we actually want it to. So now we're gonna do a bunch of tighter wraps right here. Top of the head. Bunch, 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 bunch. Now we're going to actually remove our fly completely and we're going to look at the type of fly we have here now. Now, we remember we had it like this. But that's opposite of the way the fly will, will actually act in the water. So, what we can do now, we can hide this, kind of almost like how we do with a soft worm. We can pinch it pinch that through see I missed which will happen take it you pinch it through the hare's tail this now you want to streamline it out boom now the fly is actually gonna sit like this truth be told in the water it's gonna be crumpled up right now but that's how the fly will look in the water so now you have, what you have now is you have this elegant bottom, you have purple, you have a little bit of UV, and you have that black that we added to back up this black top, but you don't need a lot. A couple more wraps, now watch this, this is how I would finish my, my flies. I'm not saying it's the right way, this is my way, this is the way I taught myself, around my two fingers, pinch them up, one, around my two fingers, pinch them up, two, around my fingers, Pinch them up. Three. Now that three, I've never had a fly mess up on me doing that. So there's our fly right there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little sip of beer. Cheers everyone. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have fun. We're gonna brush our fly. So as a recap, what this fly was, it was a gold cheapo hook from Amazon this beautiful tungsten bead head that orange that make that fly pop it's three different layers of we use the we since we have the purple thread we use the purple flash we use that UV rainbow looking flash chartreuse rainbow flash just a little bit to give it that pop as that body of that bait fish whatever you want to see that leech then we finished it off with a little bit of black on the bottom of that flash. Then on top, that's where our hair's hair came in. Very simple fly, very easy to tie. It'll catch fish. If you lose it, you're not going to be pissed off. And then my little whip finish that I showed you guys like that. It's just my two fingers wrapped around. I use it to make almost like a little knot. Boom, you're right there. So I usually do three. I just did two to show you again. That would be five. Now... What we're going to do, we don't even really need UV glue. I have that as well. We just need a little, little dollop of cheap super glue. That's all you guys need. You don't need no crazy $20 head cement. You don't need, like if for that one, I didn't even use UV glue. I have a bunch right here that I didn't even need for that. Now, what I like to do is I like to do one, two, three, four wraps to grab that glue. Your fly's done, guys. That's the first fly I hear on Vix flies. It is a little, my little leech pattern, but I don't care what the fish think as long as they bite it. Have fun, guys. So that came out.